Hey guys, Demon here, and in this episode what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to make a form signature. And what I'm going to be using is this render, you can find it on Google Images and whatnot. And as for the outcome, it is going to look something similar to what I'm about to show you. Just give me one second. Uh, um, I don't seem to have it. I have it, but it's just not in the right folder. That is because I don't know why. My signatures. Okay, here it is. It's going to look something like that. It's very few simple steps which you can do, anyone can do to make it look awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this. Um, so you want to go ahead, not that, file, new, I'm just going to name this example signature. And every website for gaming communities or any kind of form is going to be different. If it's something like 400 by 60, that's a banner because it's so thin, but signatures, like for what I'm in, it's 450 by 150. And I'm just going to go ahead and work with that small space right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get the render. Um, you can go ahead and just Google HD renders or renders or whatever you feel like. And they normally have their name, the guy who rendered it out or whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete it using the marquee tool. I believe that's what that's called. The rectangular marquee tool, yes. I'm going to go ahead and just select that and drag it on. Now what? Now I'm going to go ahead and start off like from the basics of like what you should and should not do. And like theories and whatnot. Um, so what what happened? What I see with a lot of people, if there's like a really good render like this one, they would try to fit it all the way in, and it would be like um, this much, and that's not much space to space to work with. So you can actually cut out some body parts or whatever parts not needed, so that it can work well. And there's also another thing. Um, to this when starting a signature is that you don't want to have it in the middle all the way to the left or or right because that will just look too normal you want to have it off centered a bit but for this one like for this particular render it's okay to leave it in the middle like I had before um, but the flow didn't really work well but I just like the outcome of it like the flow for this one like the way he's facing it's upwards but it should be also downwards but I for the other one I put it like that just like that so I'm gonna go ahead and work with the flow I'm, I'm, I'm gonna work without the flow this time um, so what you want to do is go ahead and copy a bunch of the render a bunch of times hitting control J J and then go ahead and take the smudge tool and for this one you want it high strength okay high strength mine's at 70 and I'm gonna go ahead and take load up a smudge brush which is um, I'm going to choose my favorite ones. Um, I don't really have favorites, but just go ahead and take a smudge tool. Make um, do not put on shape dynamics or scattering yet. That will come later. Um, size of the brush doesn't really matter. Mine's at 200. Um, I am actually going to change the angle so that way I get that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it off center like that. Just going to go all the way out and what you should do is go down to get the corners and just go it back up again and you get it back over there and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the opposite side but this time I'm gonna change the angle again so that way it won't like mess it up just to my preference you don't have to do this but it's completely up to you so I'm gonna go ahead and keep smudging it outwards like this until I get the an effect I want and I think that looks nice right there. <clears throat> Got some different colors and variations. So what you want to do is go ahead and unhide, unhide the next render and then click the smudge tool with the same strength and everything. And just go a little bit out just like that. Don't go like so much to the edge. And what you want to do is go ahead and change that to your liking of color dodge, linear dodge, or overlay through hard light. I'm going to leave it at hard light for now. And what I'm going to do now is take another render, unhide it, but this time I'm going to put on shape dynamics. 
size jitter 100 minimum one angle 100 just mess with those settings or just leave it as is or like the way I have it <clears throat> excuse me and I'm just gonna go ahead and take it and just go a bit outwards not that much so just like that not too much and then I'm gonna go ahead and hide the next render and then just look at which one looks best for this um I wanna oh no I wanna say just leave it at this but I may no I'm not gonna duplicate it but I'm gonna put it on color dodge make it more brighter in the middle um so I'm gonna go ahead and take another render take the smudge tool but this time choose a different brush I'm gonna go ahead and choose um this one because it's a bit off part it's not like all in one piece and what I'm gonna do now is put on shape dynamics and scattering <clears throat> scattering you wanna go ahead and put it at around 300 250 to 350 doesn't really matter and there's this little technique I learned like what most people do they just go ahead and like hold it <clears throat> and you get like this like grunge effect but what you want to do what I learned to do is just go ahead click and hold go down once until you get this effect um, I'm just gonna sorry yeah just so you get like something like that I don't like this there at all so I'm just gonna erase that I'm gonna take it again go another body part and just go ahead and click hold move down ever so slightly until you get like it's like breaking away just like that so it's not all over the place and you can go ahead and put that on hard light or whatever you choose um, I'm going to leave it on overlay so that looks good right there um, I'm just going to go ahead and erase just a little bit of it because I don't like how it's like flat so I'm going to go ahead and take the smudge tool again and do the same thing um, you can do it in different smaller size if you just want to get around him I'm going to speed this up a bit right there All right. That looks good. I'm going to put this one on color dodge. And I'm going to. Where was hard light? I'm going to put on hard light. I'm going to duplicate a bit more renders just like that. And unhide the next light render and go ahead and do, keep doing the same thing. No, actually. Now, um, I'm going to. Yeah, actually do it one more time. I'm just going to go ahead and do it one more time. Put it this time. I'm gonna put it on color dodge, so you get a glow effect, just like that. And now you have your render. And what you can do is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and oh no, not that. I chose that. There we go. I'm gonna wrong layer. I'm gonna unhide this one, move it up a bit. I'm gonna take the smudge tool and do the same thing again, just like that and I'm going to put it on color dodge so it's um, just like that because the light is coming this way so there's more light on the front and then what I'm going to do next I'm back again so what you want to go ahead and do now is take another render and go ahead and take the smudge tool and choose a different brush this time Go ahead and leave it the same strength and make sure and put on shape dynamics. And I want you to go ahead and just go out with it again one more time. Maybe the last, we don't know. Or keep doing this until it feels right for you. And this time I'm gonna put it on hard light. Alright? Or soft light, hard light, or I'm gonna leave it on hard light. And and then finally we have the regular render. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is add um, some lighting to this, some lights. You can go ahead and Google search this. I really found a favorite one, which is this one, because it just seems to fit with most signatures I do. So go ahead and place that over like that. I'm just going to go ahead and rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And put this on screen. I'm going to put it on linear dodge. Image adjustments, hue and saturation until you find what fits for you. That seems to be good right there for me. Um, I actually may leave it on color dodge. Obviously not that. I'm going to. I'm going to leave it on color dodge because that looks more interesting. 
Or you know what? My screen. I can leave it in color dodge. But the thing is, it's coming. The light is coming from the top right. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that like that. All right. Now you got your light. Um, <clears throat> what I'm gonna go ahead and do next is take put open a new layer. I'm gonna just rename it to dark. Take a brush to um black color with a hundred opacity, and the light is coming this way. So I'm going to put very few on the bottom, but more on the back here, because that's where the darkness is coming from. So just like that, I'm just going to put it like that, erase a bit on the top, uh, not that much. I'm going to erase up here just so that I didn't get any of that. And I'm going to put this on hard light with a 85 opacity or... Maybe 75. 75? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it on 75. Um, I'm just gonna take a new layer. I'm just this is optional, but I'm just gonna make this a bit darker. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. 32. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and take a new layer. I'm gonna call this one light for lighting. Press X to change the colors on the keyboard for the color and I'm gonna put one right there and I am going to put this on color dodge no I am not overlay always overlay um, it just seems to work the best I might just leave it at it as is so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now I'm just gonna rename this so it doesn't get confused with everything else I'm gonna work with we're gonna go into complex with the burn and dodge tool and when get into special effects so for the burn tool that is for shadows and when and just think about where the shadows would be for example the light is coming in from this way right the lights coming in this way so what we want is for the burn the, on the left so I'm gonna go ahead and do that like for example here should be a bit more burn here and I'm just gonna get a bit on the left side here the shoulder definitely over here a bit more under there maybe I'm gonna get it definitely over here around the neck behind it just like that not too much and maybe just a little bit under there or the sides right here wherever you think is best so I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to the dodge. And remember, this is on the render layer, obviously. So dodge, I'm just gonna, um, 50 or oh, exposure. I've said this, should have said this before. The burn, 50. The dodge, 50. So I'm just going to go over where the light would hit it the most. Now get that shine in there. Come on, shine. All right. <laughs> So I think that that's look pretty that's looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and touch it up with the burn tool a bit more in the back of the helmet. I'm just not digging that. All right, that looks a bit better. Yeah, that looks better. So we're gonna go ahead and get into these special effects. Um, what 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 I can do? I'm just gonna take another render from the bottom here. That's where we always have that. And I am just going to smudge it one more time. The, always smudge as needed. Um, because I really want to try and copy what I did before, but not like exactly copy it, because that's not going to really help you guys. So I'm just going to change this to whatever fits best. Or I might just change it to leave it on. No, I can't leave it on normal. I'm going to just. I don't know. Darken. Hard light just seems to make it even worse, so I'm not even going to mess with that. So we're going to go ahead and go into these special effects. Is, um, they're just like more lights or like colors, bubbles, that type of stuff. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And there's different ways you can incorporate this for signatures that you are doing. So I'm going to go ahead and open a few that I think are nice. I think that's hideous. 
this one I like. I'm gonna go besides hitting the background, just control A, control C, and then control D. And so control A is to select it, control C is to copy, and control D is just to deselect it. I'm gonna go over here, control V, and then there you go. So you don't have to deal with that. Would you like to save this document? No. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to screen. I think that looks nice right about where it is right now. Image adjustments. These two are going to be your best friend, hue and saturation or and, and or color balance. So I'm going to go always go to hue and saturation first for this type of stuff. And I'm going to change it to a nice yellow. Your yellow color. Okay, so it's at the end. But I'm like, oh, okay. So I think that looks nice right there. Uh, you can go ahead uh, or change it to color dodge or linear dodge, whatever you prefer. I'm going to leave it on linear dodge. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same for this one. Control A, Control C, Control D, and then exit out. Bop -da -boop, control V, and you have it in. Um, I'm not going to resize this because I... Th oh, yes, I am going to resize it. Just get a bit in there. Uh, color dodge. I think that looks nice like that. But I don't like how it's too much lighting. I'm going to leave it in color dodge actually. Color dodge. And I'm going to change image adjustments, hue and saturation. It seems all the way to the left. Seems to be the yellow. Perfect. And I'm going to put this as needed. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not really digging this one over here. So I'm just going to delete that one. But I'm going to leave the one that we just opened. Because I think I can work with this. So I'm going to leave that like that. Or what we can also do, which I haven't done in a while, is splatter brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and open a new layer and a new layer. I'm going to go and call this splatter. And for this one, I'm just going to go image, apply Im image, and hit OK. Unhide that for now, but go back to the splatter brush. Click the brush, X to change it to the white, and go ahead and choose a splatter brush brush um yeah splatter brush so what are we gonna do now we are going to do um make some splatter brushes i just gonna change the angle to wherever necessary with a hundred percent opacity flow 100 and i normally cl click twice but i'm just gonna click once for this and what you want to do i'm gonna make a duplicate of the uh, apply image. So I'm going to go ahead and unhide one of them and click create clipping mask. So now I'd like to enlarge the image. So it's something like that. So I get a nice splatter effect. I'm going to work with the render later, later on to blend with it. Um, or what I can do... No, I cannot. Or brush eraser for the eraser. Which one was that? Hold on. Here it is. I'm just going to go ahead and do something different here. Take the eraser tool with the same brush. I'm going to go ahead and and nope, lower the opacity. No, not lower. Change this. And I'm going to click erase. I am not going to do that. For um, just going to lower the size and just get it on the render just a bit. Yeah, that kind of blends with it. I like that. I'm not even sure if that's working. Oh my. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And go ahead and check that. That looks very disoriented. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just do that eraser, lower opacity, or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and make another layer underneath the unhidden layer of the of the of the hidden layer of the apply image. I'm going to call this one splatter 2 for the right side. So take the brush tool, white color, opacity 100. Take another nice brush. This looks something wild that's going on. Yeah, and we're going to go ahead and click brush tip die shape. Whatever you want to call it, or cuz it doesn't even matter. And I'm going to go ahead and click once. I'm going to go ahead and undo that, click it twice this time. And then I'm going to create clipping mask on this one and go ahead and check it. And then what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just enlarge it. 
So now you get this effect. I'm going to go ahead to the render again, erase the tool, and erase whatever necessary, like that. So I think that looks pretty cool. Um, it's, I just don't like how that's, that's shown the armor. Alright, whatever. That, that looks good right there. So without this, this would look like normal with it like that. It's not exactly like this, but it's not supposed to be. So I think that looks good right there. We got the light, the darkness, the little bit of special effects, not too much. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is hit the um, white and black circle thingy. Yes, circle thingy, and hit curves. Now for this, you want to go ahead and make an S shape, S shape, from this bottom corner. Just go ahead and click it once right there. Around there is good, or whatever you feel is necessary. Go ahead and make one on top over here, and that will and brighten the image. But I don't like that so much brightness, so I'm just going to bring it down a bit, but leave the darkened more darkened. Now what we can do is add a gradient map. So I'm going to go ahead and add a gradient map. Everyone uses this. I use it. I love it to death. So does everybody else. And what you can leave it. Like I find some signatures that I do. I just leave it at soft. Like I don't leave it at soft. Like, okay, it is on soft light. But I don't leave it at 100 opacity. Because I think I should just add another gradient map. So you can go ahead. If you think this is awesome just like that and done. Or add some text. Go ahead and do that. But I'm just going to for this tutorial purposes. Is just show you. Another way, so I usually put that from 25 to 35, depending how much light and darkness is coming through. I'm going to go ahead and make another gradient map. I usually have this one. I'm going to try this one again. Uh, color dodge does not work at all. Um, soft light, what does this one look like? I'm gonna, you can keep experimenting which ones you think is good for you. And I think I'm going to stick with this one and leave this at 45 opacity. And now I'm going to go over text right now. Um, so I'm just going to add these two rulers as guidelines just to show you. All right. you whether you may or may not heard the rule of thirds, it's basically, I have no idea, but what I do know about it <laughs> is that um, you don't want to have like for text, you don't want to have it. Hold on, let me just go ahead. No, it's not what I want. White text. I'm just gonna put high. I don't like that. Hold on. All right, one second. All right. First of all, you want to find a text that best suits this. That's actually I'm gonna do first. All right. Um, I'm just gonna change the stroke down a bit to one or two. I usually go with two. So the rule of thirds is that what you want to do is not put it like in the center, the corners. You don't want to do that. Basically, where this is, where there's a space, you don't want to do it. You can go ahead and leave it like that, but you don't really want to put it as a center of each square. Let's say, unless if it looks good like that, go for it. If not, then don't do it. Um, the, but the main point is that you usually want to put it where the dots hit. But for this one, it is around here, but it's also, I would say, under around here with this smaller text. So has my caps lock on. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that, like high. I think that looks good right there. It's up to you, personal preference. Um, so that's basically it. This came out different than expected. Much more than the other one, but that's how I make my signatures. That's what I do. It's basically, um, it's all render. Uh, let me just see. So it's basically render from that point. It it looks okay with the gradient maps. That's what it looks like with the lights and darks. That's what it looks like. But with the special effects, that's what that looks like. Um, so I think that is basically it for this signature tutorial. Um, I basically gone over dodge, burn, smudge, sharpen and blur. Let's go over sharpen and blur. So for sharpen, I'm going to go ahead and click the render, and think the always the focal area, the face is what you want sharpened. And for this one, I'm going to choose the chest plate, a little bit of the shoulder, and you, if you have like a guy with a sword, sharpen the sword, but not too much. Uh, for the blur, it's where you really don't want to see it. So, like on the left side of the shoulder, excuse me, 
a, I would say a bit over here, a bit on the bottom maybe. That's about it. Um, really depends on what you have going on in the background. But that is that. Um, paint bucket. Oh, a special effect with the paint bucket. Paint bucket. Click a new layer. Fill it with black. Take a brush, white. We'll reset it. With a one pixel brush, white. And or what I can't, I I do is that I slightly have a bit of yellow, bit of yellow in there. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and just click it where it randomly. D don't make lines with it. Just make dots. Okay. Just like that. And what you want to do is go ahead and change it up to 4 pixels. And just place it random. This is all about randomness. You don't want to place an order if so. Because like it's all like the misorders that are uneven. It's what makes it perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and change, keep changing this up bit by bit. But less the more you go up. Because that makes sense. And I think that looks good like that. And what you can do is change it from either these five, three, four, five, five of these things, lighten screen color dodge, or linear dodge. I personally like it on color dodge for this one. Uh, yeah. So that is that for a little trick that I know. Um, so race the tool gone over clone sand that's for another thing that's for like manipulations and stuff but it could be used for other things so that is text also good text color ta um thing i don't know I don't, I don't mess with that but that is basically it for today for this signature tutorial this is demon signing out i hope subscribe if this helped you very much or a like if you enjoyed it and if you please do it for Bane if not I will find you and have a good day